made from silica, or it's like a type of sand. It's melted down, and there's just some different recipes for it. A silica, sand, carbon, and oxides. A mixture of uh, lime and sand. So there's a, the scientific aspect of what glass actually is, but um, you know, we've come to see it as a material that's really satisfying to work with in that it's so challenging sometimes. It's not forgiving. Uh, you have to kind of get things right the first time. And you have to be very careful when you handle it because of how fragile it is. So uh, it's, a, it's a material that commands a lot of respect. Glass to me is my favorite material to work with. I like the looks of it. I love to touch it. I love to uh, turn it over and, and look at it. I've always felt that way since the time I was a, a little kid. So I think it's a, it's a very personal connection that I have with the material, like most artisans and artists. I think I definitely notice glass more than like my friends do, and they'll laugh at me when I'm like, staring at a piece of glass. And they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm just trying to figure out if this is you know, quarter inch or laminated or whatever. And they don't care at all. <laughs> when I see glass, um, I'm often impressed with how someone manipulated it into the form that it is when I get to look at it. Basically, I see two things. I see it either reflected, I see light reflected, or I see light transmitted through the glass. So depending, so you see glass in two different ways. If the light's reflected, it's opaque, you aren't seeing through it. If, you, if it's translucent, you're going to see through the glass and in some cases may not see it very well at all. You can have fun with it, you can do different things to it. You can tint it or you can use opaque glass or you can bend the glass, or cast the glass. And the way it captures light is one of its uh, most beautiful uh, elements. I certainly notice glass much more than um, the average person because I work with it every day so absolutely I I pay attention I I'm looking at glass all the time so that if I'm walking through the city I'm looking at lighting and I'm looking at windows I'm I'm looking at uh, pavers in the sidewalks I'm looking at uh, bowls and place settings that are in stores so it, it draws my eye immediately You can have all kinds of effects on glass. And it's kind of mysterious and sexy.